Hi, this is Eric with CadAvenue.com. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the MechQ ZW Mech Structural Module. We'll be creating a 3D grid and then placing in our columns, beams, steel plates, and so forth uh, to complete a full model. Um, feel free to call us at 888-271-7121. So here's the MetQ structural module. It's loaded with lots and lots of tools to help you get both 2D and 3D drafting done. Uh, today we're going to be just looking at uh, just a few of these, including the structural draw utility. Here you can choose different beam types uh, and sizes. You can draw in both 2D and 3D and also create a bill of materials list. So let's start out with a, a, a simple 2D rectangle and then going into ISO view and copying this rectangle up 10 feet. You'll want to use your um, XY filter to do this. That way you know you're copying it up in a true uh, Z dimension. So we'll go back to the uh, sections draw utility again and uh, place our column by its center, uh, which would be the middle dot. Click on that. And next we'll put a plate underneath it to choose the plate utility. Pick it by its center, snap to our grid, and simply just copy these two elements around in your on your grid. Okay, next we'll uh, Draw in the beams, select a different size. And this time we'll be selecting it from the top. We'll want to use a, a filter uh, a middle MID so that we can select to, to the midpoint of um, each of those um, steel flanges. We'll be doing this uh, for all four, so bear with me while I get this done. Each time selecting to the midpoint. Choosing the top within the menu. So you can see it's very, very easy, very, very quick. Okay, so now we've got the beams and columns done. Let's go ahead and turn that beams and columns layer off. And, uh, and then draw a simple hatch. To define to define a mesh there. Next, let's create a three D stair. We can always change different values, such as lengthening our handrails and so forth. We enter in two points. 
establishing the height of the stair and then rotating it in plan and dragging it, placing it against the steel beam. We can adjust it in, uh, in side view, move it up to the top. <clears throat> so next let's uh, create a uh, the handrail. The handrails are actually all in 2D but we can rotate it in 3D just to get the uh, like a pseudo 3D drawing of it representing what it would look like. Yeah. So we enter the length of it and take it and we'll move it away from the model So now let's uh, rotate this whole piece using the 3D rotate. Enter the axis of rotation, which would be these two points down here, and rotating it up by 90 degrees. So let's, let's just move it now to the uh, up, up to where this the steel beam is. I suppose if you wanted to, you could always extrude uh, those those rails so that they, are, they have some thickness to them. Uh, let's let's do something similar to the uh, the stairs here. So we have construction lines that we can use, and we're simply using the um, the structural bar utility to trace over these rails. And you can do this same thing uh, to the rails at the top if you'd like. change the length. So let's turn off the center line layer and then uh, simply copy the whole stair railing assembly over to the other side. So now let's just um, put a vessel on top of our steel mesh. By the way, this utility can be found on, in our other video, which shows how to uh, draw a pipe uh, and a vessel together. So be sure to have a look at that in our video library section at catavenue.com slash videos. Feel free to call us at 888-271-7121. We'd be happy to help you answer questions. We appreciate your time today. Thanks. Bye.